Okay guys, welcome to what will probably go down as the single greatest and most important showcase I will ever do on this channel. Of course, I'm talking about the god of nipples himself, physical Monica at 100% rainbow status. Now, for all of you haters out there right now that are going, oh, why did you do that? What a waste of orbs. You know what? I'm here to prove you wrong with this video. Now, let's take a quick look at what this man is all about before we jump into the actual gameplay. As you can see, these are his stats and they're not so high, but you know what, that's okay. Keep in mind that he is a free to play unit after all. Moving on to his leader skill, he is a representative of the universe seven category leader, giving them all key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 50%. Now, of course, that is a far cry from LR Goku and Frieza who provide 177%, but you know what? Not all of us can pull LR Goku and Frieza even in a thousand plus stones, okay? So if you have them, you can keep it to yourself. <laughs> okay, moving on to his super attack, causes supreme damage to enemy while sacrificing 7% HP. Uh, can't lie, that's awful. <laughs> that is really, really bad. Considering supreme damage is already just an okay damage multiplier, while also losing 7% HP, that's a drawback for sure, but that's okay. At the end of the day, he's still gonna be a monster, as you guys will see in just a second. His passive restricted battle gives him 77% attack for four turns after receiving an attack, and then he also gets an additional attack boost up to 77%. Essentially, if you have 10% HP, I believe the final calculation was that he will get somewhere around a 230% attack boost because the additional 77% is calculated separately from the initial 77%. So I don't know exactly how those calculations work. I don't know the math behind it. We're gonna test that out today. We're gonna try to get as low as possible in our HP to get the most damage possible out of this absolute monster. And uh, I'm excited to test them out. All right, two things left are the hidden potential. We're going with 15, uh, critical, 11 additional, pretty standard. We wanna push out as much damage as possible from him. And for his links, he's got godly power, prodigies, more than meets the eye, shocking speed, connoisseur, in fighter, and shattering the limit. And I believe that his best looking partner is Tech Beerus, who activates godly power for 15%, uh, prodigies for 10%, and also shocking speed for two keys. So we're gonna try to get those two linked up as quickly as possible for the showcase and two categories, representatives, universe seven and realm of God. So this is physical Monica for you guys, rainbowed as you can see, let's see what he can do. So this is the team we're bringing. <sighs> don't say anything about the fact that I'm not bringing representatives universe seven, okay? I don't have LR Goku or Frieza, I already told you. So we're bringing a realm of God's team. He's gonna lose out on about well, 27% plus 27% on the leader skill, so about 54% attack. It is significant, but you know what? He's still gonna do a good amount of damage, so just, just imagine how much damage he's doing right now, what you see in this video, and then increase that by about 50%, and you will get his damage on a uh, representative of the Universe 7 team. All right, so here we go. I don't wanna hear any comments about the fact that I'm not bringing Elder Goku and Frieza. This is the team. These are the items we're bringing. We're just gonna bring in a Ghost Usher just in case we need to skip a turn if we're about to die. And we're bringing the new Monica head because it just makes sense for the nuking test. And uh, a couple other random items just for fun. I don't know. <laughs> just in case I can't get a super off, I guess, I brought the Tree of Might fruit. The Fruit of the Tree of Might. Why did I say it like that? Fruit of the Tree of Might and also a Bulma just for some additional damage. All right, so it looks like Monica is in the last rotation, as is always the case, man. Every single time I'm trying to showcase a character, they always put him in the last rotation. So he's gonna come back in two turns, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> we'll just enjoy these other units for now. And also, by the way, I didn't get their super attacks off on purpose because I wanna make sure that we're not killing everyone too fast before we get to see some damage out of Monica. So we're not gonna do all of this boss rush, by the way. We're only gonna do the first uh, the first stage, really. I just wanna do this for the Bardock. And then after this, we're gonna pull out and then go over to probably the Int Gogeta event because I want to see him with type advantage. I want to see him do as much damage as possible. So that is what we're doing. I don't want to hear any complaints from you guys. <sighs> this is what we're doing. This is what we're going to do. And uh, let's see. Let's see the god himself do some crazy, crazy damage. Now, <laughs> as much as I'm like being sarcastic for a lot of things I'm saying in this video, 
he is actually quite a solid free-to-play unit. I can't lie. He's actually quite solid. Okay, let's let's start here. So what you guys are gonna see now is him at his very base level. All right, he's gonna have no attack boost whatsoever because he's not gonna get hit here. So he's gonna have zero attack on his passive. This is basically just the links activated by Beerus. And uh, he's not going to have any additional attack from you losing HP as well, since we have full HP at the moment. So this is as weak. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I totally meant to press something else. But you know what? This is why we brought the Fruit of the Tree of Might. This is the exact reason why I did this. Okay, so we're good. Still got super off. Uh, this is going to be the lowest damage possible you can probably see from him on a team like this. So let's see what happens. And hopefully, we, we, oh, we won't kill. Probably won't kill him. So we'll get hit, and then the next time he comes back around then he will get that 77% attack boost and also hopefully we'll have some a little bit less HP as well so we can get a bit of a higher boost on the other part of his passive too. Okay, here we go. Um, I totally missed what he did. He probably did like a couple hundred K. You know what, like I said, that is the lowest. We're trying to see him at all levels right now. We're trying to see him with no attack boost and then with a lot of attack boost and then also as a bit of a nuke test. Maybe for the Int Gogeta stage, I can actually bring a friend um, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, the physical one that's a nuke lead. And in that case, we can actually see some crazy number because I, I, I never do double nuke lead showcases in these videos, but I think for this specific showcase, for this specific card, it's we need to do it. It's, it's mandatory, you know? <laughs> So, so stay tuned for that, guys. Don't go anywhere. Don't just watch this first part and leave because we got some we got some good stuff for you coming up very very soon. Let me know, by the way, if you guys are deciding to do the same thing as I did and rainbow the nipple god, or are you just gonna be cheap and hold on to your orbs and be stingy about it and save your orbs for lesser units that are not as good as this one? Because obviously he is the new greatest unit in this game. <laughs> okay, awesome. So this is actually very good for us because we have type advantage here and he also got hit so he, got that, he gets that extra 77% attack and we unfortunately healed up to full because uh, Connoisseur is a shared link between Beerus and Monica which gives us 5% recovery. So we got full HP so we don't get the extra, uh, extra you know, attack on the second part of this passive but we still got the 77% on the first part. And we also have some links from Beerus, and we also have 25% buff from the Kami as well, so things should be still pretty decent. Yo, look at Monica tanking, guys. Yo, Monica can tank. Look at that. He's taking less than 1,000 damage, and attack stat just went up to 947k. Let's get a critical right here, right now. Impress the people. No critical, but 760k on Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is actually quite impressive. I'm not going to lie. I think that's quite impressive. You guys are impressed, don't lie. Let me know in the comments down below how impressed you are by Monica already. He's already mad impressive, guys. <laughs> oh, man. And if I seem kind of weird right now, you know, if you've seen my past videos and you're like, yo, Tiger seems a little bit weird right now, a little bit off, it's because I literally just came from the live stream of farming this guy, getting him to rainbow status. So I was talking for like two hours there, so I'm like pretty damn tired right now. I'm, I'm hungry too, which is why I'm weird. But you know what? It's okay, we can get a little weird for Mon Monica. Monica? Monaka. Yo, this is okay. Guys, clarify one thing for me. In my stream, I said, originally I was saying Monica, which I know now is wrong, but then people kept telling me different pronunciations, man. They're like, it's not Monica, it's Monica, it's Monoka, it's Monica. Like, <laughs> yo, what are all these names? How do you actually pronounce his name? I'm gonna go with Monica for now which is what most people agree to, but then some other people are like, yo, man, no, that's still wrong. You're still getting it wrong. So I don't know what to do now. Like, I honestly don't know what you people want from me. And look, okay, we can't get the super off, but guess what? We were smart about it. We were smart about it, man. We brought this fruit of the tree of might, so now we can get it super off again. Uh, we get a bit more attack on his passive because... Because we have lower HP now, just marginally, but still, he, will sh he should get like, he should have over a million attack stat at this point. Oh, oh no, we don't have the Kami. We don't have the Kami. You're, okay, no, you're right. You're right. I mean, nobody talked to me, but you're totally right. We still did over a million damage, though. Still did a, over a million damage. And guys, in all seriousness, <laughs> with all jokes aside, all jokes aside, that is really good for a free-to-play unit that's not an LR. We're not including, you know, LR... Frieza, LR Vegito Blue, um, LR whatever you want to you want to include, man. LR, uh, whoa, what am I missing? LR Golden Cooler, no Meta Cooler, 
cold and cooler. What? Meta Cooler or uh, any of the other free to play LRs like the new LR Super Saiyan Vegeta that just got on JP or even LR Trunks. Yeah, those guys are going to be strong because they're LRs and they're much harder to acquire. Monica is probably, aside from the LRs, the best free to play not you are like tur unit in this game right now and i'm not even joking about that he is quite strong especially if you throw him on a lr goku and frieza team representatives of universe 7 team if you're lucky enough you're one of those lucky people lucky lucky people that pulled him or pulled them then congratulations i'm happy for you not really but you know what that's okay that's okay i can be salty and also be happy for you at the same time or at least say it you know on the surface maybe in my mind i hate you <laughs> I'm happy for you guys. I'm saying I'm happy for you guys. Just let's just just take it, okay? Just take it. Okay, so this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good because he is. We're we're quite low on HP right now. We probably should be around like we're a little bit below 50%. So let's see what we can see right here. I just noticed that his ear his ear is actually like ripped off right now. That's a that's a nice touch right there. Nice. Yo, this the art for this card is actually dope. The art for this card is actually dope. But going back to me being salty about LR Goku and Frieza. <laughs> One guy in my chat, I think his name was like Jexplode or something on the stream, told me he rainbowed the unit in 600 stones. 600 stones, he pulled 5 LR Goku and Frieza's. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, the, the damage itself wasn't amazing, but he went over a million attack stat. That, that's actually quite good. I hope we don't die here. We could die here. We we're probably gonna die here. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna die. Okay, okay, that's okay. You know what? That's okay. The, the, he, he didn't want to, you know, be too impressive because uh, that would break the game. Like, like, if he actually unleashed his full potential, the game would actually just crash, and we don't want that in the middle of the showcase. So uh, he died there on purpose. Now we're gonna move on to the next part. We're gonna just gloss over that, pretend it didn't happen. Uh, we're gonna go over to the Gogeta, and you know what? I'm gonna change up my team a little bit. I'm gonna make it a little bit worse because I want to actually take a bunch of damage. So let's find a UI Goku friend first. There we go. And uh, let's take out some of these good guys. Yeah, let's take out some of these good guys. Take him, take him out. Uh, I'm going to take take him out. He can kind of tank too. Let's take him out too. Okay, what we're going to bring instead is uh, Kami. We're going to bring Whis. And we're going to bring... Oh, we need a double nuke lead actually. So we're going to bring him as the nuke lead. Uh, what else? What else? Hmm. What is awful? What is not good? Rosé. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but honestly, though, like, I, I probably should bring one guy that can still do some damage just in case. Alright, so that took a hot minute, but I finally figured out the setup that I want to go with for this nuke test. So this is the team we're bringing. Basically, we're going to try to take as much damage as possible without dying. And just in case, it brought this LR Vegito Blue so that we can still output some damage if we need it and a little bit of tanking. And big shout out to my boy. I bring the luck for providing this friend physical Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta for that double nuke lead. The items we went with are the Ghost Usher for skipping a turn in case we need it, of course the Burrow Cookie, and two orb changing items. Here we go guys, I'm very, very excited, also a little bit nervous because honestly, I've never done this before. I've never done a nuke, a nuke showcase, so I don't really know how well this is going to go. Uh, I just realized that we have very, very low HP, so how is this going to work? I think we should still see some nice numbers provided that we don't die, okay? Provided that we stay alive. Okay, let's give this one more shot. This time we're shouting out my boy DJ Graz from the Dokkan Discord. This guy was such a beauty that he actually rainbowed his Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta just for me. so. Let's hope this works out. Here we go. We're changing up the team just a little bit. Brought a few different items so we can get more orbs on the board. And uh, I am willing to use stones this time. You know what? I am willing to use stones to revive. And also I'm going to get hit a few times beforehand just so we have low HP. Um, actually, I just realized that Monica is at the end again. You know what? We can't do anything because we can't reset it. If we reset it then I'm gonna lose that friend lead for the whole day and I wanna put out this video today for you guys, so... Okay, let's just survive this. Um, I think that we have enough tanks that we can actually survive the attacks. Um, yeah, no, you know what, LR Goku Black should be okay here. And then no one's gonna attack Vegeta, and then Beerus has type advantage, so... 
Fingers crossed, but like I said, I'm willing to use stones, man. I'm willing to use stones to get this nuke test done. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're screwed. <laughs> I think we're screwed immediately. I, 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 I'm gonna have to use a stone. Oh god. Okay, let's go. We're continuing. All right, perfect. Um, uh, wow. Uh, let's let's go over here. <laughs> Jeez, yo, why why are they making my life so hard? And then here, and for those of you who are uh, super observant types, I know some of you out there are. Um, <laughs> my hair does look a little different from the last part between the last fail and now because I had to go outside and walk my dog. And uh, it's like snowing like crazy out right outside right now, so that's why my hair got a little wet and it looks a little different. So if anyone's wondering, that's why. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Here we go, guys. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna link him up here, and then we're gonna do a, f a little magic here. We're gonna change uh, green to blue, and then we're gonna change. Uh, blue to red right blue to red yep perfect and then lastly we're gonna change red to yellow here we go so we got every single orb except for one except for that one lone purple orb i can live with that and i'm gonna use the ghost usher just so we don't uh get screwed by that attack in case it's a super i don't want to use another stone but i'm willing to if i have to here we go guys um almost a full board of, of orbs that's about five uh eight uh, what is it like 20 something? I don't know whatever. I'm, I'm too lazy to count right now. Here we go <sighs> Finally got this new t nuke test done man. Oh my god. It took so much effort, but it's gonna be worth it We're gonna get a crit. It's gonna be lit Okay, 1.8 mil. Okay, 1.88 mil and what's it gonna hit for? What's it gonna hit for? 1.3. Oh my god Look at look at look at Monica beasting man. Monica my bad Monica or Monica, I don't know, man. Like I said, I don't know how, how you really pronounce it. You guys keep telling me different things and I get confused. Uh, that was a sick nuke test, though. That was freaking awesome. Uh, Veku, okay. Um, can we survive this Veku? Hopefully. Who has the most defense here? It's definitely Beerus. Actually, no, it's... Ve wow, Beerus has no defense. Okay, um, it's Vegeta. It, oh, it's a friend? No, that's not that's not the friend Vegeta, though. That's weird. Okay, you know what? We're gonna put Vegeta here because he has the highest defense. And uh, let's hope he survives. I'm so nervous, guys. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna die here for sure. We're definitely gonna die here. I can't use a ghost usher again. Or can I? Oh. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Um, AGL to to green. Or or no, green to AGL. And then this one, here we go. This is dope. It's actually working out a lot better than I expected. But we are going to have a few less orbs, unfortunately. Um, this, okay, there we go. So, yeah, we're missing out on quite a few orbs. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Here we go. Okay, can we do more damage than last time? Can we get a crit off this time, possibly? 1.79. 1.79. Let's get a 2 mil crit. Oh, oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, not quite what I was going for, but I think we should finish him off here, and then maybe I use another stone for a Dokkan attack next turn. Okay, take these. Okay, we can get the super off, Dokkan attack off. And uh, fingers crossed, man, Vegeta, please survive. Please, please. Ah! Okay, that's it. That's it. We're calling it. You know what? We saw, still saw some nice numbers. We still saw some nice numbers. Um, <laughs> like I said, I'm a total noob. I'm a total noob to this um, nuking thing. So that was as good as I could get it. But anyways, guys, there's the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All kidding aside, he is actually a very, very good free-to-play unit. Like super, super strong. Um... And you know what, if you guys are newer players especially, I think he's actually worth investing some orbs into just because he's like really strong, man. Look at that damage. He can do consistently about 500k to a million damage on a Realm Gods team. If you have LR Goku and Frieza, 
then he can do even more damage with that double LR Goku and Frieza lead on a representative of the Universe 7 team. So overall, very, very strong unit. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of him and also whether or not you're going to rainbow him just like me and join the rainbow Monica squad. I'm going to start it. It's going to be a thing. Okay, there you go, guys. Um, as always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.